Hello, and welcome back to my weird little podcast, also known as the Mistress of the Macabre podcast. We are finishing up the sordid tale of Peter Stump today, served with a heaping side of lycanthropy, because why not? They paired together so well. We are just going to dive right in. So we left off last time talking about clinical lycanthropy, the psychiatric disorder. We are going to jump back into that today, but we are finishing up with talking about clinical lycanthropy in people that have obsessive compulsive disorders. Clinical lycanthropy, like we talked about last week, has been reported with various neuropsychiatric conditions, including primary psychotic and affective conditions, drug intoxication and withdrawal, cerebrovascular disease, traumatic brain injury, dementia, delirium, and seizures. But its relation to obsessive compulsive and related disorders, also known as OCRDs, is a somewhat rare finding. A two-factor theory has been proposed for lycanthropy, where the primary trigger for delusion formation likely involves a mismatch in the individual's neural representation of self, which makes sense, right? You're not identifying.